my first thought was rip the uh, odd stuff off of the chainsaw to make it fit but then I figured <laughs> not going to be anything left if I straighten it so I probably should cut it off about here so I have a shorter straight log so if I come to here 7 feet 8 feet to here you know, it's better as a 7 footer but I think I think that'll work ok I'm going to make that an 8 footer And it's the big end, so it's going to roll that direction. I want to fly this around, sir. I want to roll it, I just want to move it. Rolls fairly easily, it's reasonably symmetrical. Almost bigger than this can hook wants to be.
And far enough that it's just barely over the bunk, one or an inch farther if I can. There. I didn't have any bark on there. And now it's curved up a little bit, so this is off the bunk. Everything else is on the bunk. It's just because it takes that little turn right there. This is because I made it eight feet instead of seven. Straight at seven, little wonky at eight. I think I'll leave it like that. This one, I don't think, will reach. Maybe. Maybe. From the bunk to top of wood is 17 inches. 13 and a half inches. Three and a half inches difference. But, much of that is the flare here and the actual wood thickness 16 but from the floor to the top is top of the bark is 25 get past that bell floor to the top of the bark 23 so if we call that 23 and this what is that 21, it's a half inch difference in floor height, an inch and a half, so this should come up three quarters. Am I going to do that? No, I'm not. From the bottom of the wood, 13 inch. We should get out of a 13 inch cylindrical log, nine inch cant. So we should be at 11 on this one, flip it 180, and do 9. Now is this going to go past the log without trimming? If I can get another quarter of an inch and take off my water spout then we can do this
You see those sparks back here? I thought I checked this, but maybe I did. Where were the sparks? Now I could I didn't hear the sing of a steel nail. The grapple should have could have crushed a little bit of sand into here. No nail. It's a good thing. Can't remember if I checked that for nails. Sure I did, but <laughs> being sure doesn't necessarily mean anything. When it kicks off like that, it usually means this has started to bow up in the middle. It has, see that? So the weight's on the ends. So this might be one of those situations where I have to slice off one side, roll a 180, slice a 180 roll for every cut. We'll see. Get a two by four out of this anyway. I'm gonna roll this either 90 or 180. Don't know. So, 180 or 90, that's the question. I thought I retightened that. I was tightening it against the clamp and thought it was tight and it wasn't. Okay, it won't. Unless I want to chop out. I had to use the axe to chop off some bark so I could get this clamp down through the hole in the floor and engaged. Both ends are up, tension in this log, ends are turning up, then this is wanting to arch in the middle. The way to alleviate that seems to be a flop of 180 between each cut.
getting close. I heard a creak as it went in. Let's see if I can get a little more now that it...
way, dragging back with the blade, almost touching here and watching what it does. You can detect waves and also arching or bowing. And this picked up a little bit right here and the rest of the way down. So this might be arched a little bit, but I wouldn't know it because it's just drooped down here. Like down here. Still flat on the bunks as far as I can tell. Watching this, looking for signs of arching, and I think I finally see some. Not enough weight to hold down the cast back. So I'll take these off, flip the remaining cam, and make the last cut. Started just today. Sweeping sawdust off the boards before I stacked them in those stickers. I'm curious, what do you do? Is this important? Does it matter? I don't know. It makes it look nicer anyway. I don't know what five, eight foot, one by tens will cost you at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. Probably considerably more than these cost me. Except for these resaws, which won't amount to much. Last cut. These are flatter than I expected. Less bowing and arching. But that does not mean the log was without tension. These two took their curve in the other direction. Well, I like that grain. I should do something besides build a floor of this. But I need a floor. So one more cut. I'm not going to do the resawing today. Got to go in and edit some video. Got to flip this over. It's down hard on all bunks. It's straight. Last cut. And that's the last chapter 
in the conversion of free logs into free boards, thanks to my neighbor Lisa. Next video, I promise, we'll get back to skidding logs down the mountain using my skidding cone with a GoPro along for the ride. That should be interesting. I hope my GoPro survives. See you next time. Thanks for watching.